So let's see what curry gums cooked up. We got more of the finite. Well, let's get it without further ado. Say hi to YouTube. Just be on YouTube later. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that. And let's read, man. Ubera. Retrieving a name using that spear requires the approval of two primeval gods. While Kali and Brahma gave their approval for retrieving Anatta's name, they won't give it hereafter. Kali already gained an interest in the competition between us, and Brahma is the one most disappointed by your choice of giving up Kubera. So she, more than anyone, would want to see you suffer and regret this choice. Not a good person. She's not a good person. I don't like her. Instead of being like, you disappointed me, let's try to do better, she goes, no. Now you need to suffer for eternity. Fuck her. See, this, this, this is why you, when he came and he stunned on her at the end of Kubera and Kubera, talking down to her, no more universes. I felt that. I felt that. All right? Man, I'm, I'm done with Brahm. So um, she must, she might even interfere to put you at a disadvantage. And she's going to cheat. And, and she's cheating? That's somebody's goat. You already know the way Brahma treats the creatures who have lost her favor since you saw it in the beginning, ancient humans. So after excluding those two, the remaining primeval gods are me, whom you are competing, and Shiva, which means the spear cannot be used to save you from your status as an error. You know what happens when one has two Nastika level names, right? And that's crazy. Shiva. Yo, Shiva. Yo, throw my yo, throw my guy a bone, bro. Be like, you know what? I like this dude. Earth, earth bending. <laughs> yo, Shiva, come back. What's up? What's up, Low? That's crazy. All right. And since uh, and since this case involves a combination of two particularly special names, the collapse will happen even faster. <laughs> Excuse me. Huh. <laughs> the most. Powerful Nastika and the oldest Astika combined. No matter how strong your soul is, 500 years is all it will take. In 500 years, as measured by the human realm, your name will be shattered and scattered throughout the whole universe. While that would cause ordinary creatures to meet their end, you fortunately still have a form that existed before, even if you lose your status as an, as an Astika. We can learn where you really came from. For you, it's a competition that's worth a try. No matter if you win or lose, your survival itself will not be endangered. However, if you return to your form before you were an Astica, your creed might go back to what it was in those days as well. <clears throat> the ideal you dreamt with the great cause you pursued, the compassion you fostered for someone, would fade away quickly and be forgotten forever if you do not endlessly remind yourself of them. The escape from that state there is only one thing you shall do. Retrieve the name that was scattered. This is where the competition starts. To Manasavin, who fought against you so desperately today, I will give the right to retrieve the scattered fragments of your name. You shall compete to retrieve the name. With him to retrieve, retrieve the name. Hmm. Look at me with your mask. Ugly ass boy. Ugly ass boy. One last God Kubera story in art by Curry Gum, The Finite 12, Season 3, Episode 306. Well, I don't know why my brain just stopped working temporarily. That's kind of crazy. All right. <clears throat> if a living being with the name Kubera is killed by Asura, the power of the name possessed by that being will be retrieved by a Manasavin. Okay. If he reaches the level of being able to rip dimensions away with the power. Retrieved this way, Manasavin may take Anatta's body and attempt his resurrection. On the other hand, if a living being with the name Kubera is killed by an existence that's not a Sura. So, anything else, God, primeval, pure blood, there's half in quarters count. I feel like, I feel like Ash shall become so important in this case now. Okay. Not to believe we're already 12 chapters in this arc. I know. I know. I honestly felt like, honestly, it felt like a week ago 
when we time traveled to the dimen- to the um the dimension when uh Faruna filled it up with water and then we st- kind of just scattered everywhere and then Callie was in Yuta's body. It felt like a week ago. And that is kind of crazy. But that's what happens when you're having fun. Time flies, even though it's pain. On the other hand, if living being is killed with the name Kubera is, is not a, not a Sura, the power of the name that's being possessed will be distribu- distributed amongst everyone with the ownership of the name, which of course includes you. If you recover all the power of the name and become the last one standing, it's your victory. One last Kubera. Oh shit! Uh, then you will acquire the qualification to choose who you become: Anata or Kubera. How is it? It's surprisingly simple considering this concerns earning approval for the strongest name. Why isn't he saying anything? It, see, it, it seems there is an unfair imbalance in regards to the difficulty of collecting the name for each side. How so? F- first, for human deaths that are not natural causes are mostly due to Suras. Second, the opponent can retrieve the power of the killed Scubera as it is, but I can only take a scattered portion. Third, the opponent can achieve his goal without retrieving all the power, but I cannot. From start to finish, the conditions are much unfavorable to me. I was well aware of your insight when I accepted this competition, Vishnu Nim, so this is not the issue, but shouldn't someone of your standing offer acceptable conditions, at least for appearance sake? He said, at least pretend to be fair. At least pretend the game's not right. Attempt. At least on the red carpet when the paparazzi is around. This is interesting. Interessante. I just want to read the rules again. Hold on. So first for humans, deaths are not... For, from, for, first, from, for humans, deaths that are not natural causes are mostly the Suras. Second, the opponent can retrieve the power of the killed Kubera as it is, but I can only take a scattered portion. Third, the opponent can achieve his goal without retrieving all the power, but I can't. Um, from the start to finish, the condition unfavorable to me. Okay, for your appearance sake. Okay. <clears throat> Love how Kurigam draws humans getting slaughtered, really sells the despair. Yeah, they're just over there dying, just crying. Seen the, yeah. I see. So you think that Manasafin, who can retrieve power via other surahs, seems much more advantaged. However, if you look at it from another angle, it also means the targets and places, the targets, it means that targets and places inaccessible to surahs are untouchable for Manasafin. Moreover, Manasafin has weaker ownership of Kubera than you in the first place. This means even if he recovers more power of the name, it will be difficult for him to demonstrate the same level of power as you. And the fact that he has to give up his original name in order to secure ownership of yours and use its power is his fatal weakness. Okay. That means even if he recovers the power of the name, it will be more difficult for him to demonstrate the power as you. Makes sense. And if and the fact that he has to give up his original name in order to secure ownership of yours to use its powers as a fatal weakness. So you're basically arguing it's fair. Since it means giving up the power of the highest ranking Nastika in the Anata clan and becoming weak with only a fraction of the power of an Astika. He might die surprisingly easily before even reaching his goal. I don't like this snooper <laughs> i don't trust him i don't trust him if god kubera kills a kubera even manasafin gets a part of the power yeah kubera time Visti was already taken into account the separation of the human and sura realms post cataclysm that's why the conditions were fair ah i missed me with that that's not moving me this guy man shiva i need you to use hakai on this new see cali Kali, all right. Kali, all right with me. You might have to get rid of Vishnu and Brahma. A race in existence. Please, Hakai them. You might surprisingly, but that's surprisingly easy. Blah, blah, blah. From your position, a competition would be child's play if you somehow managed to kill Manasavin. What could possibly stop you from winning against the rest of the human Kuberas? Are you saying that even humans are competitors? They won't be, they won't. Be worthy of being called competitors, even when you only get to the point where there's, even when you get to the point where only the final few are left, you will have much more of an advantage since you have stronger ownership of the name. No matter how strong the human Kuberas become, you will be much stronger than them. It will be hardly difficult. Take two. 
action. It will hardly be a difficult task for you to kill them. If you don't want to accumulate sin by yourself, you can just incite the human Kuberas into killing each other. Is that what he did? No. Is it fair? Only unfair god in the series is Brahma. <laughs> Ever since he pretended to be Gunhavra's friend, I never trusted him. Vishnu is in, is in a per certain perspective merchant. Now I'll leave Brahma out of this, Naya. <laughs> nah, Brahma, I don't like Brahma either. But yeah, he hit them with the... Well, if you look at it from this point of view, you can actually see that having LeBron, Jordan, Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain, and Kevin Durant is fair to you five random people we found on the street because if you really think about the stress that they have to they have to endure from the media... Like, bro, nah, miss me with that. <laughs> if you don't... Yeah, so they send them to kill each other. Manasseh men would likely choose to order other servers to slaughter them anyway. So you can just take, ah, Maruna and whatnot. This is all starting to come full circle. So you can just, not, not I say Maruna, but like, no, Maruna was, was Maruna one killing um, Kuber, Kuberos? Yeah, yeah, because he came to Lisa's village. That's when Asher came and blah, blah, blah. So I wonder how he's involved. But it's all starting to come full circle. Manasavan will likely choose to order a Soros to slaughter them anyways. So you can just take a similar approach. That would be much easier and cleaner. Why? You don't like that method? It's laughable for you to be picky about the means at this point. Why did someone as noble-minded as you think giving Gondhavra the... Wait, why does someone as noble-minded as you think giving Gondhavra the ability to destroy souls? Why does why does this feel personal? This is not business. This is personal. This is it's not business. It's personal. <laughs> That's is that, that just me? This is yo. This is a personal. This is a personal thing, bro. What's going on, Bojo Mokel? Like, yay! This we is personal. Peace, peace. You are attacking him. Thank you, Archer, for the subscription. I appreciate you. Pay this, pay the citizen tax. Like, this is effing personal, bro. <laughs> This is some Dingleberg. All right. So are you mad at the Gunhavra thing? Is that what's happening here? Why does someone as noble-minded as you think of giving Gunhavra the ability to destroy souls? Anyway, then, good luck. No, don't you talk to me like that, bro. See me. I swear to God if I... Oh, my goodness, bro. I'm so hurt. Anyways. Whether you realize, whether you realize, wait, whether you will be able to realize your ideals or not. That's crazy. Hello, emperors. Oh, the emperor is here. What's up, Simi? <laughs> Gonhavra went from best possible future to, yeah, I can destroy souls. I know. It's crazy. Oh, this is crazy, bro. Could you imagine? You try to you try to you try to like make your idea come to fruition, right? Let's go step by step for a second, right? So you're just like, hey, I'll do it. I'll take the spear. I'll make the promise. They're like, nah, f that. Now you got to do it. Now your name is shadowed. You can have either name. All right, I'll take the bet to get one of the names. All right, here's the game. It's rigged against you. Here's you got to be. You have to beat Kobe, LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> then you gotta switch sports. You gotta beat Messi one v one, Ronaldo one v. What is this? What is this game I have to play? I gotta hire friggin' Benzema to come play play for me in my stead. I don't like this. And then he goes. Anyways, remember that one thing? Why'd you do that? All right, good luck. Can you walk away? This is personal. <laughs> he doesn't like me. I don't like Vishnu, bro. You gonna talk? We gonna talk about this? You gonna talk about this? This is hatred. This is this is real hater activity. Okay, so whether you will be able to realize your ideals or not, see for yourself by giving it your all until the end. All right. He looks. He looks. Callie just. Callie's like, huh? All right. Then are you saying that you use the method of making the human Kuberas kill each other? I did not intend to use it originally. Even if I were to kill someone. I would have to kill them myself and get my own hands dirty. First of all, in order to slow the rate in which Manasafin retrieved the name, I decided to roam around the human realm and make as many Kuberos as possible in advance. If we name the child Kubera, will it, it will become happy? Wow. He would, he, <laughs> that's despicable. He said, I got to increase the numbers like crazy. You'll name, your, you'll name your kid Hemmings. He's become God's gift. 
He will be blessed. He'll be blessed by the gods. Ah, that's devious. No, I like that. I like that. Oh, don't gamble in me after all that. My Vishnu stocks have risen. Look at you. <laughs> but what's your Indra stocks? How, how is Bitcoin looking over there? Low? But when the time... When the time that Vishnu spoke of came, my name got shattered and I went back to the form before I became monastica. My nature regressed alongside it to those times. I ended up using any means possible, aiming for aiming for an easy victory. Who's that? Brilith? Oh, wait a minute. I mean, Jabril. Sorry, Jabril. I had a thought, but hold on, hold on. In the end, I started killing the Kuberas I had previously made in large quantities by using other human Kuberas. And she's, ah, then you, then you mean I'm also, yes, you were one of those mass produced Kuberas. Please, no, no pain. Sorry, that, that, that spin was from my heart. That's my heart. That's my heart. I needed the spin once. Uh, Utah's like, uh, Utah, Utah, save your girlfriend. Originally, whether at the hands of a human Kubera or another Sura, your life, your life was destined to end early. If your name, if you, if you name your child Kubera, he will be happy. Also called Kubera some years later. Sorry, I got to kill your child because his name is Kubera. Boy said he's an AliExpress. <laughs> That's crazy. Damn, but. On that day, due to the summoning, did she like revive his power or something? I had the nature I'd forgotten returned. According to the methods I had used so far, I should have pretended not to know you and let you die. But I couldn't. But on that day, I couldn't. And he said, okay, he saved her. Okay. This... Humans, even Suras, everyone here is dead. Who in the world did? Shot. And she looked at her looking dejected. Is this your doing, kid? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? No, don't, don't, don't be continued. Continue. Oh. I need information. I need more information, bro. Oh, oh my God. This is getting so good, bro. We are circling back to the literal beginning. Why can't every webtoon be like this? I'm like, I'm looking at everything that I'm reading on a week-to-week -week basis, literally with the meanest side eye because it's not up to this level of quality. And I'm not saying everything has to be written like this, this well-crafted, but Jesus Christ, being the same ballpark, orbit around that level of tier, like, oh my God, bro. This is insanity. So basically, when he returned back to his form before becoming a god, he may have, like they said earlier, you'd have to do something to constantly remind yourself, which somewhat reminds me of Kasak, to some degree with the princess thing and having to keep his emotions in check because of the whole Vitra clan emotion nerf. <laughs> we'll call it emotion nerf. And he has to, like, the earrings and everything, like, this is so dope, bro. Okay, hold on. All right, all right. So we're going to say it. That's why Talith, Brilla's dad, said she was a sacrifice from the beginning after he heard Lee's name. Ah. Is this is, is, is in the side story with, with where we learned that he was resurrected? Now let Indra do some name your child after me and y'all will be upset. Oh, look at you. Stop whining. Ooh, you guys are mean to the character that I like. Stop whining, Lo. Stand by him. Stand on business like a man. All right? Stand on some fucking business. Okay? You know what happened when Hawkins got cooked in One Piece? I had to take that L. Take your L, man. Stop crying to me. I don't care. I'm a hypocrite. I'm not a good person. I pick and I choose. I don't pretend. Okay? I do not keep the same energy. <laughs> Up until... Up until that summoning spell, he was in cheerleader form. That's one of the unusual things about Lee's summoning there. Ah, okay. Lee didn't have the divine affinity. The summoning ignored the god's will and even restored him to his Astaka form. That's what I, that, No, he said it was in the Abyss chapter. Which chapter in Abyss? 
throughout the heavens and throughout the earth, Curry Gum alone is the honored one. Facts. The the story is the the story is mean to Indra. What do you want from us? <laughs> nah, I'm standing on business. I'm just, I'm just calling y'all out. No, you're not calling nobody out because I never I never. Okay, what happened? What happened in the last tier list that we did? Talk about the strongest characters. What? Where did I keep trying to put her? This character you see right here. Is she one of the strongest characters? No, but I tried to put her there. Why? Because I'm an asshole and I don't care about the rules. I just wanted her to win. I have been the same nigga since day one. So we're not doing that to me. <laughs> All right. You see, at least I admit it. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Agendas. Propaganda. <laughs> How to go now? I can't find the chapter. Sorry and thanks for the stream. All right, man. Take all right, Corey, take care. I appreciate you stopping by for the time that you had. But yeah, that that, that was great. Oh, wait, let me read the blog post. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fool. To be continued, Tiara, Kubera is the most ancient Astica. Also look at the Kali panels. That is interesting to think about. Is it because he won from a previous universe or something? So is he more ancient like Indra and Varun on all of them? That's interesting. I, I, I'm almost thinking... Yo, I was watching a past bot and I heard you say serial exper experiments and lane is pretentious. It's on my watch list, so I've yet to watch it. But can you briefly explain why you think that? It's not a bad... I don't know. I'll have to watch it one more time, maybe. And I don't think it's a bad series. I think it's a series that it projects a level of intellect that is not actually... It's not actually tackling at a high level. It's a bit of a pseudo intellectual series, in my opinion. I've I've also found that to be a little bit true about er Ergo Proxy, which I like a lot. It might just be because I'm smarter now. When I was a teenager, I thought it was like incredibly like I don't know deep and thoughtful. Give what, but but I I still think it's a good anime worth a watch, and it's pretty iconic in terms of what in terms of like where it stands. I'd still give it a fair chance. If you don't, if you like it, you like it. It's just one of those things where I thought later on when I revisited, I'm like, this is a little like fake deep in my opinion, like a little shallow. But it has all the the, the dressings, the filters, and overlay of being my intellectual series. You valid. He guided humans to the new world while the other gods were created in the new world. You want to hop in, KG, by the way? Talk for a little bit? Let me just read the um the blog post if you want to come in. I don't know where Glam is. Naya, I am Yay. here. What's up, Greater Bonita. Power? Yeah, what's up, peace, Lost? Peace. Big in Tokyo, we here. Appreciate you. Appreciate, appreciate you, man. Okay, Curry Gun's blog. Season 3, episode 306, The Finite 12. Besties. To others, they seem to be friends, friends with a complex relationship. Silent for now, but the eyes of Manasa Vince are different sizes. I usually don't draw his eyes behind the smaller opening, but sometimes I do for dramatic purposes. I like it. I think it was I think it was a good a good panel. Seems like this mister still got a lot to say. How many weeks has it been? He's been talking. He's been, he, he's He's been holding that in Yay. for eons. He's like, peace, the peace. being is now at a lower level than me. All right, so here's what happened. Boom. Before the universe was created, I was a farmer. <laughs> this just tells you his entire, entire, entire autobiography, biography of his entire life, bro. <laughs> he, he has been talking. So you hop in, all right? Give me a sec. Um. <laughs> so in times like this, I want to switch to a novel and finish it in one week. There's a floating rock next to you, kiddo. Kid Leeds is approaching him so boldly that some people ask if God could bear a setting of having a scary appearance was changed. It hasn't. See season three, episode 501. Uh, it's just that Kid Leeds is fearless. All right. Let me just uh, grab headphones so we can have this conversation. Give me one sec. Sorry about that. I'm back. I don't know why I don't just bring these with me. I always forget them upstairs. And it's not like they work properly. It's like, it like works in like one ear. It's kind of crazy. Oh my God. Well, how do you guys feel about this chapter though? This was kind of insane, bro. Like it really was. Oh, Five Nights been hitting week after week. I can't believe this. This is crazy. All right. Um, right. I'm in there when you're ready. So... Yo, the way the way that I like, I think the God of Earth is one of my like six favorite characters at this point, which is crazy because for a long time, because I couldn't read him because Manasavin was out here impersonating, I was like not that high on him, and now I'm just like, he's the one. I I love this dude, and I did. I guess part of it too is I didn't know he he was going through all of this stuff, but it's crazy. Yeah, it's all coming together. What's up, KG? Yo, what's good, man? 
God damn. No, this is jam shot too. <laughs> yeah, this was crazy. Yeah. Oh, what do you also, think? Yes. Like, like in general, like you know. Oh, go ahead. What are you gonna say? You were saying something. Uh, I was asking. No. Yeah, I'll then say... this chapter was very good. Uh, yes. Cool. We we got to see more Brahma. She's a hater. I respect it. I respect no. the dedication. She, she is. You she can. Said, you disappointed me. I'm gonna fuck you. I'm, I'll make it even harder for you. I said that is hater energy. That's crazy. Listen, I you cannot not respect it. She's the one. It's over. She's the one. <laughs> She's you, the greatest you guys know me. Level. It's it's not it's. I like the ancient humans. That's why me for her. All of these, yeah. all of these have been like raw, like damn, that's hater energy. But like, I cannot forget for what you did to my people, bro. Those are my people. Yeah. Those are my Kryptonians. I'm on my Zod gimmick, and I am nothing without my people. Okay. <laughs> yo, th- yo, they weren't good enough. It is what it is, man. They weren't good enough. Here we go. See, <laughs> see, we need them to be better. It's their fault for not being better. See, that's the issue. They need to have self accountability. Fair enough. When Asavin <laughs> drops some of the hardest lines in Kubera dips, we later find out he's one of the halves of the great mate and find out he's in tug with Kubera. Goddamn, Curry got facts. Anyway, I just wanted to hop in to say my piece. I'm still hella tired right now. Effing dog dug into my trash and spread it throughout the entire yard. I have to clean it up in the cold. I'll try to watch the VOD later. All right, man. Take care. Appreciate you hopping by. I love that all the pieces are coming together. Yes. He said, also, before I leave, Jamarcus, Jeremy Marcus. He, if you're Ace Wade fan, you know what that is. KG has Indra's Priest. Kelly's the one. See, everything in that statement is wrong. What, what is wrong with you? I need you to be to do better as a human being. What the, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> He's mad at us. He's yeah. mad at us because he feels like if this was Indra, we'd, we'd be upset. And he's right. I would be. <laughs> I would be. I would call him a bitch. I would call him a loser. What, what do you want from me? Yes, I would say it. <laughs> oh, this, oh, my God. The Asian humans were too good. They're afraid of being kind in a crew role. I know. She was like, y'all y'all have no fight in you? No fight back? Oh, control out. Delete. No, actually, actually, highlight. Delete. Empty, empty recycling. But I said, Yo, why you do me like that? Oh man, I never loved a group of people so much. But there's a lot in this chapter to secretly talk about. But how did you feel about um, like the rules of the game and like how it kind of comes full circle back to like why everyone all, like all these could bear? Like it's kind of crazy. I'm so impressed. See the fun, the funny thing in a certain perspective, he's doing this to set up everyone so that the a human can win. That's the funny thing, because he's putting his money on Ran. So in a way, like both of them are in a, in a disadvantage because they don't know about someone like Asha, someone like Lee's, someone like uh, Ran existing. Yeah. So in a way, they are, the, they, they are he's actually right. Both of them in a disadvantage. That's, yeah, like... My, with, all right. with Vinso, it's so weird for me. It's like... I don't think he's a he's a bad person, but I do. I, but he's very shady. Like he, he's very shady. Am I the only one who felt like that was personal? And like and he let it slip. How come somebody as no, noble-minded no, no, as personal. you, like Gan Hoffer, have the power to destroy souls? I'm like that. Felt, that's not business. That's personal. Fuck you. <laughs> see, but <laughs> see that makes sense because it's a, if you remember, like Vince who said he doesn't he doesn't like Gan Hoffer. So you have someone that's trying to challenge his primeval powers and someone that's help, helping Gun Hover at the same time. So that probably like annoys him a lot. That makes perfect sense. No, I, I'm not saying I'm not saying he shouldn't feel that way, but it's just the way it came out. It's like what did it have to do with the present situation? Why are you bringing up some old shit, bro? That happened. That, <laughs> bring up the age main joke, man. That man, that's old. That happened an hour ago. Like some old shit. Let it go. Yeah, man. <laughs> So no, Asha no, is Kali's um, pawn. Mm, that's that's definitely personal. It just felt that way to me. Again, I could be wrong. I could be off. But... <laughs> I, I like like that's some shit. I would say like 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 um, if I'm if I'm playing the long term hater game, and now it's my turn. <laughs> this would be like, yo, remember May fifteenth, two thousand eleven, bitch. <laughs> yo, 
This is like Michael Jordan's Hall of Fame speech. Like, he's preparing to do that. <laughs> yep. Oh, my goodness. Now, in your eyes, does Manasovan um, become a much more interesting character moving forward because of this revelation from, like, the last couple of weeks, last three weeks, I'd say? Because um, it's not a character that I could say I particularly had any interest in, even among Sienatas. But now... I, I, I'm not that my personal investment is higher, but I know that narratively he's gonna be so much more important. So like now I have to take an interest. How do you guys feel about that? Chat too. My my feeling with him is weird. I, I wanted to see more of his perspective in this situation. You know, mm-hmm. if we had more, then I wouldn't have an issue. I would probably care more. That's probably my only complaint about this chapter. Like I wanted to see Manasfin's perspective to like care a bit about him. Mm-hmm. He kind of just silent the whole time. He didn't say nothing. Kind of just looked yeah, at him. He's like, just like they're staring. I'm a win, bro. Being mugging. Yeah. Oh, Vishnu loves to take shots like that. And Asha Ark, he, uh, he was barring her. He's kind of good. He's not He's not nice. If you don't like him. I don't rock with Vishnu since day one. I took I took one glass and said, oh, nah, you a whole villain. That's, again, if I'm wrong in the end, you guys can all cook me. Where it's like, he was actually Jesus, la Jesus. He came through and tried to say, like, all right. But until then, I, no, no. Jesus, uh, Buddha, what, who, Zeus, whoever you pray to, okay? <laughs> oh, Kobe, huh? Um, How much of the, of the Kumail yeah, yeah. have we... <laughs> How much of Kubera have we seen was Manasovin? I act that is literally n- uh, currently the number one thing in my notebook for my reread. How many times can you discern whether it's Manasovin um imp- imp- impersonating the um the god of earth? And how many times was it actually him? And that's I can't I couldn't tell you all the times. So I don't have that number in my head, but that's something I'm gonna be able to look out for. How'd you percent in my reread? Yeah, now that I know that. Manasavin stocks are high now because the reread wise. I'll also see Manasavin with the Suras instead of with the with Gaku. Okay, with Gaku Bera. Vishnu, my number one Primeval, I'll win. Nah, Shiva, I'll win. <laughs> I I knew That's he was coming problem. back to do something. I didn't think it would be this crazy though. Go ahead, my bad. Nah, nah, I said that. Uh, I'm Tim Brahma. Delete, recreate. See? It's done. Uh, it's okay. The, at least the best one got to live. That's brilliant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, sir. I mean, we can text. You know what? You really saw Cabrera doing things. Absolutely. Go ahead. You know, you know who Vince Vince reminds me of Isaiah mm-hmm. Thomas. You you know you know how he's like pretends to be a nice person, but like he's an asshole. Yeah. Like that's how I feel about <laughs> Vince. <laughs> I I I had all the criteria. What is a million dollar smile? Like you were you were back in the yeah. in the seas being a demon with Detroit Pistons, bro. That's a fact. Yeah. I thought you said Vince at first. I'm like, Vince? What did he do? What did he do? Nah. <laughs> no, Vishnu. Um, Curry Gun got us playing. Can he spot Manasovin? Wait. <laughs> um, I just thought of like three. What's the other one? Where's Waldo? There's Carmen San Diego. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? What's the other one that I used to, we used to play? Can't remember. But yeah. What did you think of Guacubera being the oldest of the Asticas? That's actually okay. That's, I was trying to look. I knew it was something I, thought, I was going to talk about. So he's older than Indra, Varuna, Surya, and all of them. He's the oldest. What does that mean? Did he win in the first universe or something? What does it mean? What is the uh, reason? See, I, I don't know how to interpret that because we know that Agni and the other gods did exist, like the same people did exist in the previous universes and had relationships. We know Agni's first love was from a previous universe. Mm. But Kubera is the one that was still alive and went from one universe to another without being recreated. So it could be like this, like he's the person that goes from one universe to the next, therefore he's technically the oldest. I, I don't know what that exactly means. So, okay, so you're so what you're saying is possible, like when the universe is created and the concept of fire and stuff or whatever, blah blah. blah that Agni is like remade, even if he does somehow yeah. retain, he has to get remade. Well, wow, the god of Earth Kubera just literally walks into the next world and has to wait for shit to start popping off. Basically, yeah. well, okay, that's interesting. I don't think that's a crazy thought. I feel like they have to explain I mean, how Kali like... can imitate imitate sorry imitate Vishnu as I think has something to do with names. It's possible. Go ahead. I'm saying like because like 
I guess the first thing that's created while the previous universe exists is Earth in the second universe. So they coexist, so he technically doesn't need to be recreated. I guess that's, that would be an explanation. Mm-hmm. I feel it. <clears throat> As Indra's priest, I gotta say, F Indra right now, I need that Kubera special. I need to see what this man was doing in the previous universe and get him, him with the side story. <laughs> The first, so. the first universe, the second, the second crossing or something. Hit me with that. I need the, uh, the equivalent of the Avatar Wand flashback for the first universe. <laughs> the first Avatar, Yo. first universe. I need, I need that. I need that Legend of Korra Avatar Wand flashback, bro. Mm. Yo, I I need like ten chapters of Kubera Kubera story, seeing like many different universes coming and getting destroyed. One after the other. That would be an interesting story. Like, how, why is that disillusioned with the gods at this point? Mm-hmm. We're going to get it. I, I genuinely believe we're going to get it now. It's going to be time. I also wonder why God could bear has the ability to rip dimensions. Brahma, that's got to be a Brahma special. Brahma's like, you need this. And then she's like, you disappointed me. I hate you. Why don't I give this to you? <laughs> I feel like that one's simple. I don't know why, but it is interesting he can do that. Kali item needing Vishnu to be uh, unequipped. Man, this was good, huh? I have so many questions, though, but this is good stuff. Everything is just starting to, like, every loose, like, certain threads that you knew probably somehow were in relation to another are just starting to come together and tie together. Like, we're just wrapping up everything in the bow, which is crazy. The summoning, the summoning with Jabril, and then it almost seems like the way that Lee's um summons him fixed him and then he remembered who he was and everything this is crazy i, I love this actually hold on hold on i amazing. forgot something go ahead i forgot something uh kubera wasn't the only god that is in that form so why did the who are the other gods that lost their names what do you mean because like, it wasn't oh, the only one because oh lila because lila and jabril summoned somebody right yeah, yeah, there were multiple ones in that form. So if that's the form of someone from the previous universe that lost his name, then who are the other ones? That's a good question. Shit. I don't have the answer. I, have, I don't have the answer, Sway. But that's a good question to, to keep in mind. Interesting, all races have their players now. Asha is the human, Manasseh is the sir, and God Kubera, the god. Yes. I don't think the other gods lost their name, but chose that form when while Kuber was forced into it. So he lost that. He lost his original god form before he was in Asuka. They chose to be summoned. Oh yeah, because they said like you can summon them in like this weird, different way. So maybe they they willingly chose to be summoned that way to hide their identity. With him, it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't a choice. It was just this is what he reverted to. That's a possible possibility. Yes. This is great. Oh my God, bro. Cheerleader mode. There you go. I love this, man. I'm so happy with this chapter. But it is kind of funny. I was like, I I feel like I should be writing a novel. I'm like, he has been on that cliff talking for like three chapters. (laughs) He has just been there like. So what happened was I used to be a human. I was a farmer. Uh, I used to carry dirt. And then I became a god. Then in the next universe, they're like, He's really just he's letting it all off his chest right now because he can finally talk about it. <laughs> Yo, I need the ten part documentary, mm-hmm. the last Kubera. I need that. I need that. Yeah, the last Kubera. Yep. And 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 but but this is but this is a testament to Curry Gom's writing ability, where it's like, I get excited for conversations. This is why I told her like the art, this is why I made that video called the art of dialogue when it came to, to, um, to compare one last God, where it's like, usually when there's like a conflict, you usually <clears throat> like, it obviously depends on the narrative. It can be, a, it could be sports related. It could be more combat related, but you usually want to come to blows, whether it's a real argument, a fight. I don't know. A Yomine versus Kisei, whatever the case may be. With this, I'm just like, oh, there's gonna there's gonna talk for like five chapters, and I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, keep talking more. <laughs> like I like they're just on a cliff talking, and I'm and I cannot look away. Like that's a testament to making it whatever. Think where you don't want to draw, <laughs> chill. Yeah, she better than Tagashi. Don't worry about that. See, that that's draw. the good thing about this. Oh, the by the way, about... sorry, sorry, real quick, real quick. Yeah. 
I heard I heard he uh, dropped a fake ending or something. I heard I heard he dropped the ending because he's not gonna finish it. Did I did I read that right? In passing? Yo, that Boruto he... S ending was hilarious. Yo, <laughs> did I win? I won. <laughs> Y'all not getting the Yo, end of honor honor. I won. You ain't get a proper to, ending to, for you, you. You not getting one for Hunter Hunter. To be fair, he said this is like the D alternative possibility. Like this is like the fifth one. Or something like that, the fourth one. If he didn't continue, this would be the one that he's okay with revealing. I win. I won. Yo. Togashi. He's a bomb. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Yo, facts. Spit, spit. <laughs> I'm not mad at it, though. Fuck him. That, hey, that's more stuff than Kyle's progression. I was a small nigga. Then I was some medium nigga. Now I'm a big nigga. Vishnu dropped one line and got me on his side. That's crazy. Welcome to the good side. Let's not get crazy. There's no saving me. <laughs> he definitely not going to finish it. I'm pretty sure he gave it a couple of general outlines and a couple of different endings. It's still lame. Actually, I'm I'm just I'm just being a hater. I actually don't have the full the full context. Yo, I'll look at that. You you know how to you know how to read that uh, ending? Go to chapter 700 of Naruto. It's the same thing basically. <laughs> oh my god. It's literally the same thing. This in you like grandchild of fucking <laughs> of fucking gone and like she doesn't want to be a hunter but because she, she doesn't care about being a hunter like Boruto doesn't want to be a okay, it's like shit was unserious. I said that was the ending the last time Togashi came back with with some noodle with with some noodle ships noodle sponsorship and dipped again. Hey, that's y'all king man. Not mine. I I got the queen, real king, hurry guy. Okay. Be eating good over here. Oh my lord! Well, so, you know. By the way, I wanted to say. Well, I know about, you just uh, think both stories are overrated, but you don't think they're garbage overall. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he oh, he's, he he knows about the K fob. He knows that like I don't actually think they're bad stories. I just I have my issues. That's all. Yeah, he was fine. It didn't end well or the end way I wanted. That's all. Mm, he, I will give you you actual credit for having Yusuke as a character. I'll give it credit for that. The rest, uh, whatever. Yeah. I wanted to say the comment on what you said about how much you're interested in the dialogue. I think these characters are just that interesting, that captivating, that you don't just care about the mystery. You care about how these mysteries will affect the affect them. Mm-hmm. How what will what will these mysteries being read like? Recontextualize what we le- what we thought about them before, or how we, they will react now. That that's what makes it that interesting. Yeah, in addition that, to that, that many writers can do that. You care about what they've gone through, even if it's like we 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 have to go back to see what they've already dealt with in like in this case or like <clears throat> I remember being like, yo, like I've never disliked Anata, like I never disliked him. But when I really like but but but, but in that in that um chapter where I realized the 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 the, the um scroll was black because he keeps trying to go. I'm like, oh my god, my man is just going back and back and back and back again and trying all kinds of stuff. Telling John Bavan and Yaksha, yo, have a kid, get married, blah blah blah. Then it ended up worse. King of the land, like like yo, he went through it and I didn't even know that and it just elevated his character to a whole new tier. I'm like, Jesus Christ, the great snake. Damn. Yeah. And then even, and I'll never, like, like, this, this, you know what? I might make a, I might, I might make a video on that. Where, 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 what scenes do I think are the most iconic in this one? But one that sticks in my head is when, like, the shedding of time and it shows, like, I want to live and I felt so bad and it said, the instinct to survive is not only for the weak. And I just popped. Yo. I said, that is just mic drop. Shut the show down. Turn the lights off. Everyone go home. Just, no, no, Nothing more raw could be said for the rest of the evening. Holy. Ah. Very happy. This is good stuff. Curry Gum saves me every week. It's a good flaw. Yeah. He tries too hard to focus on outcomes. If we get God could bear on Anata flashback of their actual friendship on <laughs> that. <laughs> when Anata cried in front of Jamba Van, it broke me. I know, like you like he and like they understood, like, I don't know what's going on, but he's going through something. We gotta do this for him. Like, ah. Uh. So I'm 
side note, Shot. side note. You think mm -hmm. you think Ananta's relationship with Kubera started in this universe, or did Kubera know the previous Ananta, I or think like the that. previous holder of that name? Oh, that's interesting. I think I was. I, I didn't even think you were gonna ask. That. I thought you were gonna ask me for if he, if he kind of knew the original universe version. Um, I don't know. I would say. I would say. This version of the Great Snake, he got close to. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how attached you can really get to just the name. And I know this universe but, is a little different because of the way because of the way names work. It has to be the person, unless he embodied a lot of the characteristics of the first person who ever who ever held it to the point where it's like you, you you're similar to that person. But I, I feel like it's this and this version of Anata. That's my best guess. See, but like because like uh, the Nastic has like. Their element is Earth, so they have a relationship with Kubera. I guess like it would, it could be a relationship from the beginning of time. Makes sense. Like from the very beginning. Hmm. Oh, oh, God. God. Think about it. In my delusions, being a side story is still insane, incredibly insane. Thoughts about Kubera and his character? I mean, I somewhat touched. I somewhat um spoke about it a little earlier, but I was I was basically making a comment how I went from like. I don't know. I, I don't know. I never trust. I didn't trust him initially, and then I'm just like, this is a character that's very hard for me to read. I'm indifferent. I don't know what to do with him, and I started to come around when him and Yama pulled up on Kinara Vata, and I was like, all right, for the sake of Anata, and we and like the name, but like the name, like what does that really mean? Like Anata the Great Snake, or like Time Max, or just the name? Like what does that really mean? And now that even has another meaning when you think about the fact that he could inherit that name, if things go a certain type of way and he wins the, the game so to speak but I think he's a great character he's he's probably been elevated into my top 10 at this point is what I was saying I probably put him at 10 for now but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you guys with a, with another like character list for for some of this stuff too so I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it because it's been a while since I thought about my favorite characters just know Brillis is still number one <laughs> Brillis gang CBL <laughs> I need, I need it. Certified need Brahma it. level. Yes, sir. Certified yeah. Brahma damn, level. It, damn, great. it works. Damn, it works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> See, listen, mm -hmm. uh, the funny thing about Kubera, it's interesting that after these few chapters, I think he's a better character, but like he's not as impressive, uh, impressive as he was before in my eyes in the sense that before it felt like he's some of his Manasovin. Yeah, it's some of it, Manasvin. It seems like Vinsu, Vinsu's plan is like, it's like bigger than his plan in a way, so far. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Obviously, like, he could have some ulterior motives that we don't know about that changes th this, but so far, like, he seems le more powerless than I thought before, you know? He always kind of came across to me that way, though. Like, he just had to abide. Like, I, I hear what you're saying. I think, I think it's fair to say, now that you know that a lot of it's secretly Manasvin, it could be weird, yeah. but I actually think the tragedy, like 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 the that concept for me personally adds to his character because it's like, oh, like that wasn't even you. And now I'm understanding all the things that you went through to the to why you are here at this point. That's why I feel like I understand him a bit more, a bit better. So it, 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 I would see, say but, for me to the opposite, but I'm not I'm not mad at that take. I'm mad at that. See, but how I, how I interpret it is that his whole life, like, he was powerless to do anything against the prime evils. Then his relationship with Ananta, they found a way to break from it somehow, some way, and that's his plan that he's trying to do right now. I don't think that changed, and, like, this could be, like, more motivation, like, to continue with that plan. But that's how I see it, like, okay, like, right now I have what I need to do, I'm not gonna start doing things, I'm gonna work with the Soros, I'm gonna work with everyone and achieve this goal. That's how I saw it before. And it's probably still the same. It's just like Manasvin is there and Vinsu could be playing a part. I feel it. Again, I'm not mad at that. Um, just, I don't know. God, that was great. This is good stuff, man. All right, hold on. He could have, or Lee, or could Lee's have a Nata's soul? I don't know about that, but that'd be interesting. I've always been indifferent to Kubera personally. He's an S-tier character and all... And all he just never struck up core with me personally. It'd be like that sometimes. Like where it's like, you could be like, I don't have any personal emotional attachment to this character, but I acknowledge that they're really, really great. That's 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 it'd be like that sometimes. Yeah, Sirs with the same attributes yeah. try to maintain a good relationship with their respective gods other than Ganavra, that bum and fruit <laughs> be fighting. What was your yeah. thoughts on Lisa's chapter? Her current state? 
uh she's 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 in that one of those positions where she got to hear more bad news about it or whatever but at least he was like when you summon me though like originally you're just another pawn in the game like i just mass produced you but then when you did what you did like i knew something was different about you so i had to like help you or whatever like she ended up still being special amongst them in the end but i don't know how she's taking it she doesn't she doesn't look happy and yuta looks concerned but at this like at this this, this myself fucked up and maybe maybe this is my personality when things are just that bad and you just get more bad news there you're already at rock bottom. You can't go any lower. You know what I mean? Like you can't I, like you can't even get any angrier or get any sadder sometimes. It's like my name. Nobody can pronounce my name. Do you think at the age of 30, if someone sees my name and pronounces it wrong, I'm gonna get angry? I'm just gonna correct you. I'm gonna say call me Naya or Hemmings and I'm gonna keep it moving. Like when things happen for so long, it becomes the default baseline state. And her life is kind of a mess. I don't know. That's just me though. That's just me. Yeah, see, I don't disagree because there were points in my life where, like, things got so messed up, I can't, like, get emotional. I just like, okay, this is the plan. This is what I need to do from now on to live. So it is what it is. So I'm not, I, I get it, but damn, I feel bad, please. I do, I do. I, that's why, in the end, I do hope she kind of wins, though, you know what I'm saying? So oh, and, he was always kind see, of a trick. You know, you know my take on that. Like, okay. she, she's cooked. Believe, believe, have faith. Um, he was also a trickster. He didn't have to be that powerful to do stuff. Or do you think it undercuts his duplicitousness as a character, knowing he has been playing all sides? I don't think like. I don't know. I just think I think this. I think this concept in general is very interesting. Like, I do think if it doesn't like obviously execution is the most important thing. I always tell you guys about that. Concepts are great, but. You have to execute. And so far, I think it's been well executed. I think now, moving forward, what's going to be very important is how she handles Manasavin and Manasavin Kubera, whatever you want to call him right now. I think this. I think now, moving forward, anything he does has to be pretty intriguing um, now that we have the, the, the truth of the situation. And I would like, I think it'd be cool if there's ways in terms of their demeanor and text to just discern really easily, that's not really the God of Earth, that's Manasavin. So... It shows to me God Kubera is more flawed than we thought. He made an instinctive decision and effed up, and he's trying to rectify it. True. Uh, right. Aspen seems to be more aggressive. Like the moments where, like, he's attacking someone, putting the blame on someone else, while Kubera like just stands still and like takes the insults. I guess that's the way you can discern between the two. Mm -hmm. An old theory, if, or if she was Rilla's cursed child or not, because we cannot tell the suspect. A suspect. Mm -hmm. a suspect to call the Ash. I remember the cursed child thing. We thought. We, I think I had a, we had a, I had a video where we talked about it in depth. I think it was me, Miles, and Glam for a while. Uh, what's up, East? Um, she summoned him, and he got his nature back. This was very. This, this was way special than any summoning. True. She will be moving, man. Shout out to Bill too. Yuta trying to cover at least, but they don't know where to start. I like. What do you say at that point? Right. Like you can't even be with her the way you want to be with her. It's just like everything just cooked. That's why I'm like. I'm like with me at this point. I just be like. You could be like, oh, so by the way, like your parents weren't even your real parents, and I just be like, all right, all right I guess. Like, I, like I can't get any, I can't, it can't get any worse. <laughs> look, I just, I just can't get any sadder at that point. I'll just look at you like, all right, I guess it is what it is. So, oh, and Mass Prince at the Resurrect and not with the Soul. Okay, I hear what you're going. I see, where, I see where you're going with it. It was, if it was Manasseh who helped the Suros, what did Kubera do all these years except drawing the sword? It's a great question. He did talk with Asha. That's a thing. So that should be interesting. I know. I know. No, Asha. Oh, Asha. I need you back in the story. I need. I need her. I need. I thought. I saw him. Like, Yo, oh, I, we need her. Need her back, girl. See, we've been talking about some few haters here and there in Kubera. None of them have reached her level, man. She's still the god. She's still the one. <laughs> And I have I have nothing but respect for it. Like you can have a nice future. You can be a happy child. You're like, like, do you that. see what they do you see what they took from me? They gotta suffer. They gotta die. I said that is the art of hatred. I have nothing but respect and admiration for my queen, Asha. Second Yo. message, second favorite character. Yeah. Funny enough, the moment that hooked me with Asha is like, yeah, she's the one for me, is when her mother was telling her to chill out and that is like 
ew, sh- no, shut the fuck up, Stop, don't talk to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what I get respect for. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Because he purposely put on the Golden Knight the first time, and it was Vishnu that talked to Ashley that actually Vishnu, though? I don't have the answer, Sway. But, um, okay, hold on. <clears throat> so, the ta- first of all, 10 out of 10 <laughs> this week. 10 out of 10. Uh, there was a Kelly panel. There was a Kelly panel. I might have to take like one point. I don't oh know. my, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> that said, my favorite yeah, line yeah. is probably R- Vishnu's personal beef. Why did someone as noble minded, and that seems to be something they keep bringing up, like the way that like, I guess his ambitions and ideals and personal philosophy in life to be noble, good intention, good spirited, I don't know. Fills with justice, whatever, whatever, whatever terminology you want to use. So, like, that's my favorite line. Gone Harbor to to destroy souls. This might be my favorite panel too. The way he's looking at him. Well, let me look at some other ones real quick, just because this 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 so I don't forget. Because I was like, um, but yeah, what's your guys' favorite panel of favorite piece of, favorite piece of dialogue? And what would you rate rank the chapter? Why is it why is it no lower than the nine? Nine only only nines and tens. Only nine to tens. No, that's my favorite chat. No, that's my favorite panel and favorite the dialogue. Yeah. Cause... Not gonna lie, my favorite dialogue is explaining how much of a hater Brahma is. That was fucking hilarious for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It is what it is, though. But this was honestly incredible. This is a good chapter. I, it might, it might need a follow up video secretly. I have so many thoughts, but I unfortunately can't sit here. All day and night. I'm gonna move on to the next series. Um, I'll see what you guys think first, and I'll wrap this up. So, also, Kubera kind of chose leads with a golden bracelet, and in the water channel, he is a trickster. It's true. There were ads before, so I don't know if we already talked about it. But did you? But did your Urbino young leads kill everyone at the end of the chapter? Humans too. It's. I'm trying to figure out what she could have possibly done. I'm not sure. Do I think? I don't know. I feel like she was responsible some way she performed, but how would she be that powerful as a child unless something to do with the name distribution went there? I don't know. I don't know. I thought I, I thought I had something. Then I, when I thought about it, I'm like, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Um, I don't have enough clues yet. Is God could bear noble minded? What is Vishnu on? This man would have good intentions, but nobody, but but he would muddy his hands to do anything to achieve them. Hey man, sometimes you gotta get your hands See? dirty. He's boneheaded. That that's the issue with Kubera. He's boneheaded. Mm. Like once he decides to do something, he's gonna do it that way, regardless of how, what other bad possibilities that can come from it. I feel it. All right. I appreciate everybody. I'm gonna have to do a follow up. We might, me, you, and Glam, and they might just have to talk about the chapter or our last couple, a few chapters, just again this week. But all right. I'm going to switch to TOG. Kubera family, thank you guys for yep. sliding. Appreciate y'all. Okay, man. See you later, bro. All right. Have thank fun you. reading, I guess. <laughs> All right, hold on, you, hold on. Last week was gas. If you keep the momentum, I'm going to be happy. <laughs> so, uh, the roller coaster. Every, everyone, the everyone's roller coaster. telling me. Hey, Shreese told me. It's it, it, it a good chance. Shout out to the Patreon gang. I appreciate the continued support. Shout out to the certified BAM lovers, CBL Nation, CBL Gang. It is what it is. But also, shout out to the Priest of Fire. You know, that's Brilliant Gang. Could they be the real CBLs? I think they just might be. But a huge big shout out to the Fifth Zen Gods. Shout out to Zyler Scotty, Zodiac Nemico, Zachary Cooper, Tino Brown, Ticos, Simi, Scobe, Revenant, Naz Riley, Markov, Lucky Rue. Lazy Dragon, Johnny Rogers, Huey, Triss, Childish New Jabis, Andrew, Big Allen, and Big Abdel. Your support is appreciated. Yo, I stepped in a bed the other day. Yo, I could afford a bed now. You guys are out here saving my life. 